When you think about the world of professional football, art wouldn't be the first thing that comes to mind. But for one Kelowna man, his paintbrush has been his connection to the Pro Football Hall of Fame. I choose uh, uh, the person that, or the picture that interests me. And I don't care what the background is, I don't care anything else, all I need is the figure to look like it's interesting to me. Bob Mueller grew up playing football on Vancouver Island in the 70s. And thanks to his coach, not only did his love for the game blossom, but also his love for art. The very first practice we had, he sh it took us into the clubhouse, this was, it was called the Saanich Hornets, and he took us into the clubhouse after the practice and he showed us two films. One was the 1969 Super Bowl with the Jets versus the Colts, and the other was of Dick Butkus. And I went, wow. And basically I went home and started drawing. His fascination with Dick Butkus is what propelled Mueller into the spotlight in 2007. He wrote a letter to Steve Sable, head of NFL Films, about his love for Butkus, and to his surprise, NFL Films arrived in Kelowna to shoot his story. For about a year I was painting and I was doing my thing, but I didn't get anywhere. And so one day in a, in, in a moment of frustration, I decided, what am I going to do? And I thought, well, I'm going to write Steve Sable of NFL Films a letter and tell him about myself. And really what I was telling him was that I really like Dick Butkus, and I thought they should do a new show about him. He read the story. Now, Sable has an incredible instinct for film. You know, the NFL Films has won 105 Emmys, and obviously they're the, the Cadillac, the brand of sports filming. Well, he read my story and he went, this is the kind of story we want to do. So when I got a call from a producer, they were calling me about doing my story, but I thought they were calling me to just be part of some Dick Butkus story. The film, Finding Your Butkus, went on to win the award for Outstanding Long Feature at the 2008 Sports Emmys. And now, Mueller's career has reached another pinnacle. He was asked to paint NFL Films' top 10 greatest players. Steve Sable is asking me to do an art show with him. And, uh, of course, I emailed him back and said, well, when? And that's when everything started to come together. Mueller then worked day and night to create the paintings in time for the gallery opening. I don't think they thought I could really do it. Yeah. So they said, sure. Steve said, fine. And then I went to work. So from 3,000 miles away, I got a gallery, I got the people, I lined up everything, and by June 15th, it was a go. Now, I got a new problem. There's seven new people going into the Hall of Fame. I'm at, in Canton, I've already got the top 10 collection, and I went, well, it doesn't make any sense to go all the way there and not have paintings of these all-star players. Well, it usually takes me anywhere from two weeks to a month to do a painting, oh, okay. like the ones that you yeah. see here. I had three weeks. Oh, wow. so I went, well, and it's all or nothing. His paintings, transforming moments in football history into works of art, are now on display at a gallery supporting the Pro Football Hall of Fame. I can't think of a higher honor. Steve himself is a great artist and uh, does different kinds of work than mine. But it, seeing it in the gallery, we had over 35 pieces, 20 of mine and about 15 of his. And to see Steve's work beside mine, complimenting, like his is called the guts and glory of football, and mine is the top 10 collection by the tough guy artist. Mm -hmm. From here, Mueller hopes to paint more NFL greats and work with another football legend. Jerry Jones, owner of the Dallas Cowboys. I think this time my career is solidly at the liftoff point. And what's Mueller's message to other artists? We all have things that we're destined to do, but we'll never do them unless we start paying attention to what's paying attention to us. That's what Bob Mueller's about. For Shaw TV, I'm Ruhi Sahajpal.